And the devil think he's going to kind of confuse my mind about it. And I, didn't with it. I had to get down and get with the devil. And he said, you know you don't see it that way anymore. I told him. I said, I know I did see it. And if I don't see it now, I'm wrong. So show it to me. So Lord, I'm going to dig down here. So I can't recapture it. But say, I won't let it go. I won't let it go. But I'm just, just the devil trying to be confusion. And I know I saw it. So I don't care what nobody's saying, what, no, who don't do it, and who try to dissuade me and say, I didn't did it. Well, I just did it because the, the people said, no, you did it because you saw it. You did it because God showed it to you. Not somebody that showed it to you, not the preacher preached it to you. You saw it because God showed you. But now you don't want to live up to it, you don't want to do the suffering. So you say, well, I didn't see it in the first place. But watch that spirit. You better watch that spirit when something comes that you don't want to do. Say, I never saw it in the first place. You better pray. You better pray hard. Because I would have gotten you out of it. I would have reversed the situation. But you dismissed it because of the sacrifice involved. Let me tell you something about God. When God shows you something in your eternal interest, you should be willing to sacrifice your life. I give up life. There's no disadvantage. I give up my life. Oh, Father. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Let me tell you something. Now the day, doubtless, that many of you consecrated, you pray with me, pray hard, and God showed you your place in the body. Lord help. And you declare, as well, I'm Lord, if you want to send me to Egypt the rest of my life, but ever, I don't admit it doesn't matter to me. Just, and you clear that, and you declare that. But after a while, your circumstances begin to change. And your obligation begin to grow, and the sacrifice would begin to uh, uh, increment, get, get greater. And now you don't see how you, you know, how, how that feeling when I said that. What kind of meeting was it when I made that declaration? What was the message about? Uh, uh, was it a camp meeting when I made that declaration? When I made that consecration? And now you, God is kind of busy, you, and you see where you reneged on the promise, and now you're trying to see how you felt when you said it, and you can't recapture that feeling. And now it would be too much to it would be too much to make the consecration now because you don't see like you saw it then. At that time he wouldn't abandon not only this, that, but the life itself. But now, well, the circumstances are so different now. You didn't do what you should have done. And but here now, let me God get a credit to passage here, if you will. Turn to Numbers, chapter number uh well, number 14, I mean. Number 14. Begin at verse 39. And read that clearly, and I want you to give your undivided attention. All right, what does it say? And Moses told these things unto all the children of Israel. Moses told these things to all the children of Israel. And the people mourned the great. The people mourned the great. And they rose up early in the morning. Rose up early in the morning. And gathered them up into the top of the mountain. I want you to listen. Got them up in the top of the mountain. Saying, Lo. Say, Lo. We be here. We be here. And we'll go up into the place. Lord, we'll go up into the place. What? Which the Lord hath promised. Which the Lord hath promised. For we have sinned. They've been begging. Uh, the men of God said, listen, we can, we can conquer. God will take care of enemies. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No, we let grace out. We can't be there. You know what But God has promised us that. And I know we can prevail. I know we can overcome. And we can get to, we can get to the promised land. I know that. No, no, we can't. That's too much for me. I can't do it now because I got too many responsibility. But watch yourself. But now they see the eternal blunder that they made. <coughs> and now they're willing to abandon everything now and, and go. Y'all gonna pray with me? You gonna pray with me? When God shows you about the ministry, and you go, no, when I get mad, I don't know what happens when I get mad. In just a moment. And now you see what you're missing, how far you're behind, and the time you got to redeem, and now you start to spend it. Lord, I'll go. I'm gonna show you something. Read. Lord, we be here. A, a missionary, perhaps. What? Lord, what? We be here. We be here. And we'll go up into the place which the Lord hath promised. Lord, they've they been begging them, been pleading with them, and, show, and the prophet of God and the men of God showed them uh, how that it wouldn't be no risk because God is with you. God is there for you. God will see you through it without fail. And what did they say? For we have sinned. We've sinned. 
And Moses said, Moses said, Wherefore now do you transgress the commandment of the Lord? Oh, they, wait a minute. They try to go now, you be transgressing. What you told me to go, Lord, at that time I told you to go. When I needed you. When the, when the, uh, when the situation was right. When the stage was set. When the table was in array. At that time, I prepared the way. I, I would have subdued your enemies. Those that you say are, are too giants and too much for you, I would have taken care of that. I would have provided for you. I would have prospered you in every detail. I had it already set for you. Come on. Wherefore now do you transgress the commandment of the Lord? Now, to go now, you be transgressing because God not sending you. God not with you now. Oh, Lord, have mercy. When I think about my own case, how did the people always talk to me out of it and show me, well, you got a family, you got a lot of children, you know, responsibilities, you got some of the college, and they people not able to take care of you. And that was logical. Or the, it, it, was, it was definitely logical. I mean, I began to reason, to use human reason. Oh, yes, I, mean, I was using anybody else. And, and, and I, in fact, I delayed for a long time. And first, you know, and, and, and trying to put it behind my wife because she didn't want to come. Trying to put it on her. And no, no, you, I can't go without my wife, you know. Off every season. And what did God do? Move that out of the way. And she said, Come on, let's go. I waited a little push me. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm the one that's all ran the race. Now she's down, God, and she's up. And now I'm, I'm going to go home. Let me let go. <laughs> but now here's the situation. Now, now I just suppose. I'd be around and, and see when, uh, when God told me to come, the situation was right. See, there was the circumstances were such that there would be no difficulty. But now, they said, we'll go. We'll see. we see ourselves. And what did he say? What did he say? But it shall not prosper. See, if you go, you're not going to prosper. You could have taken the land. You could to the promised land. In fact, uh, Caleb and Joshua uh, and the, the spot brought back the report how the grapes and how the milk flowed with milk and honey and everything was ideal and we are fully able to do it. Yes. You have gotten under the spirit of fear and a melancholy spirit and unbelief and you wouldn't do it. And now you see what, what detriment it has been wrought and now you're willing to jump out there and do it. Not, if you go now, you're not going to prosper. Lord, I go, I've been missing you're not going to prosper. And you're not going to prosper where you are. In fact, you're there prospering. Who can you now? Just maybe be a red light and one of them not to fall, fall into the same fate. What are all the situations? Let me tell you something, children. Let me tell you something. And now, no, you, you, you're pretty crazy because it's pretty uh, sticky. Because I was going to use you in a great way. But you were not available at that time. You were out there doing something else. And now you see what's been lost and what has been the uh, result of not responding when you should have. Now you want to get pulled up. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to sacrifice anything. Well, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be the same now, sir. You're not in position now. Because you know, there's been so much involvement now, and your influence is gone because you lost your influence. So now jump and try to do something now and holler loud, it won't be the same anymore. Serious. Wow. Are you praying with me, Shirley? That's not the same. Wait, hold it, hold it here. Now you're wondering what? And you, you spend the rest of your life trying to be effective. But you blew it. And when God would have used you. See, and now the, the whole situation has changed. Because you don't go when God says, don't you think things are going to stand still and wait for you? And you come back and pick up where you left off. Y'all better pray with me. You think you just come and pick up where you left off. It's not that way. You think God is going to hold it here? And you're going to just going to hold the clock and you're going to hold the clock like he did in Joshua's case. No, 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 no. Time going on. Circumstances are going on. Doors are closing. The door that was open to you then is not open anymore.